Hi, it's another great day in Cota de Casa, Orange County, California. And I know you're familiar with this tree. This is a Peruvian pepper tree, or Shinus mole. It gives us great little peppercorns. But over here is its cousin. This is the Brazilian pepper tree, or Shinus terebinthifolia, also known as a Christmas berry tree, a Florida holly, broadleaf pepper tree, and a rose pepper. So it's described as being a shrub or a small tree. These guys can get about 30 feet high. And up here at the trunk, okay, we'll take a look at some of the bark here. We've got this great shaggy looking bark. Kind of peels right off, vertical bark. And the root system is a shallow root system. So the roots will come out, and if it's too close to your driveway or a little structure, you get some damage. And the branches, well, they're upright most of the time. Sometimes they recline or they're vine-like as well. And that allows them to adapt to all sorts of different ecosystems. All right, and our Brazilian uh, pepper tree here, it's native to Argentina, Brazil. It's widely grown as an ornamental plant throughout the world for its foliage and its fruits. In the United States, it's been introduced to California, Texas, Hawaii, Arizona, Nevada, Louisiana, and Florida. So it gets its name pepper tree, of course, from the fruits. Got some hair falling on the ground. These little red fruits, they're called peppercorns. They're edible and they look and they even taste like uh, pepper, okay? But it's not related to the true pepper tree from India, which is Piper nigrum. Now it's given its name pepper tree, kind of as a misnomer by Christopher Columbus when he's uh, going to India, he wanted to get peppers, but he ended up in America and this guy got second place. So he called it a, uh, a pepper. So it can be used as a spice. You can peel off the outer shell and it has a little sweet flavor and you kind of put that in uh, water and kind of make a little, might be called a lemonade from this um, little peppercorn. Now, um, you can buy it in the store. It's dried out and it's got this uh, bright pink color. All right, let's take a look at some more of this stuff. So the leaves of our tree are pinnately compound. Okay, very bushy. And here's some new growth. And they alternate up the stem here. You can see, they're kind of oval shaped. They've got yellow veins. They're green on top, a little lighter green on the bottom here. And if you look real closely, they're actually a little bit toothed. Just a little bit. Okay, now some of the drawbacks of this plant, is they're very aggressive growers. They're able to climb over trees, invade canopies, form huge thickets and choke out the native plants. You see how thick this guy is. It's considered invasive in the subtropical regions of Australia, Bahamas, Bermuda, Caribbean, China, Guam, lots of places, South Africa included. Even California, it's considered invasive along the coastal regions. And it spreads very easily from the seeds which are distributed from ants and birds, okay? And it's hard to control if you cut off the trunk here, it'll just spread out, create new trees. In Florida, this is called a Florida holly. It's a big problem down there. It was introduced in the late 1800s. Today, occupies thousands of acres of the natural groves and Everglades. And it is mildly toxic. It's a member of the family belonging to the poison oaks and the sumacs and the sap can cause some sensitive uh, reaction to some people. Also it may have a narcotic effect on some birds who may eat the peppercorns. Now medicinally it's been used as an astringent, antibacterial, diuretic, laxative, antiviral, and a wound healer. Sometimes used to treat colds, hypertension, and depression. Heart problems, bronchitis, gingivitis, gonorrhea, gout, eye infections, rheumatism, sores, swellings, and other body disorders. 
So it's kind of a little love-hate relationship with this plant. Provides a lot of good benefits. Great little peppercorns you could eat, but it's quite invasive to the natural world we live in today. Okay, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the Brazilian pepper tree, Shinus terebinthifolia. Have a great day. Bye.